Good morning, it's 6.02 and I'm getting ready to go to the airport today to travel to LA. And I figured we might as well get ready and just chit chat, you know what I'm saying? I just did my lip primer, which is always a must. My face still has inflammation from, you know, you know how you wake up your face, it's just looking kind of poofy. I of course did my skincare routine, I'm setting my hair right now. And I use this Naturium Dew Glow, is it called Dew Glow? Something, it's a hydrating SPF moisturizer, which I do love. It's just that <laughs> sometimes what I'll do with my face in general, whenever I'm gonna start to do my makeup, if it looks too too glowy or dewy, I'll just pat it or blot it down like I just did with a paper towel and then I will go forward with my routine. This is the Fenty Pro Filter Primer, which I wish was fantastic but on me, it isn't. I'm always going to hydrate my skin with my skincare routine before the makeup, right? That's a must. You don't ever want to skip over that. But I was just hoping that this would make my face as dry as the foundation tends to make my face. So, you know, it really just depends on the weather and everything. Maybe this will work stupendously in the winter time, but like when, you know, when it's really, really cold outside, because here it is winter, I guess, and it's 80. So our winter is obviously different. So I put that there. Let's dry a little bit because I need to get it on. And the foundation I'm gonna wear is Estee Lauder Double Wear 8N1, which is espresso. It's a little bit dark, but it looks so beautiful on me once it's done. One thing to know about the airplanes, if you haven't already noticed, and if you have, comment and let me know, but the air on the airplanes are very dry. So have you ever noticed that your skin, maybe your face, just feels real stiff and dry? I have for sure. So I suppose you could do a hydrating routine or carry a hydrating setting spray in your bag and then spray your face if and when you start to feel stiff you know but then the problem comes into play if you're going to a warm weather area now I'm going to LA and sadly it's raining and cold so I'm not gonna have an issue with my face feeling like it's too greasy but just a tip you know you can carry a setting spray with you like for instance something small like this 2.3 fluid ounces this is NYX Cosmetics dewy finish actually setting spray you could always carry that with you I'm not going to because I don't think it'll be a problem for me but that's just a little tip you know and you can use that spray even on your skin. I actually got in the mail a SPF setting spray and I was like, what? I've never seen this before. So something like that could be good to reapply your SPF and also moisturize the skin a little bit. When I get around to it, I'll make sure I share with you because I haven't tried it yet. I know I've used this Kofi Main Match Concealer before. This is the shade Lychee Licks. In the tube, it looked like it was the wrong undertone, but this will work. Now, you know, a long time ago, I had talked to the girls about getting a TSA pre-check and then I went on to actually get global entry. And I just wanna tell you that if you travel a lot or you just like convenience, you should get global entry, honestly, because you get the shortcut line through customs when you return back to the US, not when you're at your destination like Jamaica or Turks and Caicos, it's when you return back, you get to go through the shortcut line. But then when you're going, global entry also gives you TSA pre-check for the US and just, you know, when you're going to your destination. So if I had known that, I would have just gotten global entry first and not just the TSA pre-check. I didn't know about global entry and about the fact that it combined the two. So TSA pre-check is $85, global entry is $100. It's a no-brainer, you feel me? So if you have either or, comment, let me know because I would love to know. Ever since I got it, oh, it is so good. You know, I'm the kind of person that goes early to the airports, but even if I'm running late, because <laughs> there have been times, ooh, it's messed up, but I'll fix that. Because there have been times having pre-check, wow, when you look at the pre-check line versus the regular line, forget about it forget about it and now now your girl got the the club lounges what is it called the lounges access honey don't talk to me uh-uh you cannot speak to me because now your girl's not gonna be in gen pop you feel me your girl is in the lounges and what i love is i can take up to 10 people with me no was it 10 kids it was something it was mad you can take mad people with you so if you and me are traveling together honey we're gonna be in the lounge okay we can go a little early and just be chilling up in that lounge listen this is unusual for me i am just enjoying all the things that i thought was just never even possible i want this concealer to be lighter this is the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin radiant concealer in the shade deep 14, this will be lighter. But yeah, like the lounge, look at me, I feel like, yeah, but literally I felt like, ooh. So the lounge has complimentary 
food, drink. There's a bar, honey. There's a bar. Well, I don't know if every lounge has this. So what I love is that in the United app, because my credit card, now anyone can purchase a lounge day pass, but I've seen where if the lounge is busy, the day pass people can't go. So that's just FYI. But you could purchase a day pass if you wanted to just try it out. But you do pay a membership, but mine comes free with my credit card. Which if you don't have a credit card that gives you travel rewards, if you enjoy traveling and want to build up points for traveling, you should get one, okay? Because I know I meant to do a video on it, but let's talk about it here. If you don't have one where you're building up travel points, you're really shooting yourself in the foot. If you, like I said, plan on traveling a lot, do travel a lot, want to accrue points. Because anything you purchase gives you points toward travel. Anything, right? You can set up auto pay on your bills if you are financially responsible. I get it because I've been there, right? But if you're responsible enough, set up auto pay on your travel rewards credit card. Many of the banks do it. Just pick your favorite and then you get points. So I have a card with United because I use United often and then I get my points for United. Or you can get one with your bank and then you can actually log into your bank's online portal and then use your points on many different airlines, okay? So I get the lounge access and I went to the lounge in Miami with Cindy, which was so fun. It felt like, ooh, we up in here. So we went on the way in, we went on the way to Miami and then we went to the lounge on the way from Miami. And so when you go on the app, you can see based on your terminal, what lounges are near you. And what's nice is that it won't always be a United lounge or whatever lounge your card is for. It'll be whatever takes the card. So I'll explain. For instance, this is the say Sun Melt bronzer in the color dark brown. So for instance, when we were going to Miami, the lounge that we were in, was it that one? Yeah, it was United. But then on our way back in Miami, the lounge that we were in, I think was Turkish, Turkish Airlines, right? So you'll see in the app what lounges are available and then it'll take, like that'll accept you even though you're on United. And it was just so nice. The United one had the bar, the Turkish Airlines one. It was early morning, but then again, I mean, if there's a bar, there's a bar, right? It doesn't matter. But there, I didn't see a bar, but they had mimosas, they had wine, they had I mean, everything. They had everything, breakfast, like everything, you know? I mean, granted, you're not gonna get an omelet, but like you can get food. <laughs> now I don't eat breakfast, so it's a bummer. I didn't get to enjoy that, but just looking at it, it was like, ooh, Yes, this is the life, you feel me? This contour looks good. It's a bronzer, but you get it. It's, it's a little bit dark, and I'm gonna obviously go over this with powder. But yeah, like, it's just stuff like that that I really am leaning into in this age and stage of life that I just love so much. Like, I deserve too, and I feel like you deserve as well. So if you travel and you've been doing this, let me know, because now your girl has joined. And if you haven't, and you can see yourself enjoying it, also comment and let me know, because I'm curious. This is a nice, light application type product. So I can go right into it and then onto my face. Usually anything else, I'm buffering it by putting it on the back of my hand first. Cause like, what? It, it'd be real questionable, you feel me? The face is looking very creamy and dewy in a beautiful way. But we gonna mattify this down, you feel me? So I am excited to go to LA. This is my second time on the three years of being on the Sephora squad that we are going to LA. Very exciting. I'm gonna dark and all this with my contour. Like this is a bronzer, I know, but I see this contour. I'm not using my contour being this light. I'm gonna darken all of it in a second because I need this to really show. I like it to be more pronounced, okay? So butt of the beauty sponge to now blend this harsh line, turning it in this direction as well to blend the harsh line and then going like this so that the area of the sponge that was touching the contour and the area that was touching the concealer remained the same on both sides. Hopefully you caught that. And now to set under my eyes, I'm going to use the same mold because this looks really pretty. Glowish, medium tan, luminous pressed powder. I love <laughs> powder. I love that, right? Don't you just love that? This is the Sephora 79 brush. Ooh, I just love when the accent really gets supercharged. <laughs> You know, Sephora 79 brush, that's just how it is. If you do a luminous pressed powder, comment and let me know. This is very daring. I can't imagine that you do. <laughs> because you're probably like me when I first tried this, horrified. But if you do, you are a thrill seeker and I wanna know. So comment and let me know if you do this. Most people will use a matte setting powder of some sort, be it loose or press, it would be matte. I, I do not find that the average person is doing a luminous pressed powder. 
under the eyes. You did, but boy, are you missing out. But I, ha I had to learn myself. I had to learn myself. Like I said, I was horrified, so I get it, you know? I see a shadow over here because it's so dark, but listen, when you keep the same routine, you, even if you can't see it well, like if you're in a dark bathroom in a hotel, you know it's fine because you're doing the same thing. That's what I've learned. Like I've been in dark bathrooms and been like, yo, I can't see anything going on right now. But I know that if I just do the same thing using the same stuff that I always use, there should not be an issue. Like nothing, I should not walk out of here looking different. Fenty Pro Filter Powder Foundation, the shade is 390. I wanna dehydrate <laughs> all my highlighted areas. So setting all the highlighted areas. But in addition to that, I wanna intensify the lightness or oh, the highlight in this area. So I didn't wanna just use a translucent setting powder. I wanted to still intensify that lightness right there. And to contour, this is the Patrick Star. <laughs> I always wanna say Todd, it just confuses me. One size made for shade bronzing and sculpting trio. I'm gonna use the middle one cause this is really good and deep. So the middle one is perfecto for me. And this is the Sephora 59 brush because of the shape i'm holding it in this angle instead of this angle because i don't want to drag it down i want to keep it up in this line i went too far down so this is the brush that had the highlight on it i just cleaned up that area Alrighty, and now pouncing this into the hairline to create more of a shadow all products will be linked below as always and then leftover product onto the chin. And in that same middle shade, I'm gonna do the nose again, mainly focusing toward the top. Just really snatches the nose. Just focusing right up here, bringing it into the brow. Has to come into the brow, in my opinion. It makes a huge difference. And now I'm noticing that this is a little messed up, so let's fix it right here. Do you see that? <laughs> now the brows are not gonna really be standing out in any kind of way right now, because they're not done. But it makes a difference when you have that shadow right here. Time. And for face powder, I'm gonna use this Bare Minerals Bare Pro 16 hours. Did this too long? Ah, deep 50 warm powder. It's just too much. But see how light it is? I like it that way because I don't necessarily want to deepen, you know, the whole face that I've done. I just want to bring it together. And a shade like this really does work. Might want to try some? No, because what you do. I'm here, my boo. Who's now? And and Nanka. <laughs> <laughs> How long? 10 hours. And oh, please. All right, to highlight my face, like in a shimmery kind of highlight way, because there's a difference and I know that it can be confusing. I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty Pressed Highlight in the shade Flaunt using my finger. Although I can and I have in some cases used the sponge, but for the nose, I like to use the finger because then I can get right where I need it to be. There's a mirror here again. I always forget about these mirrors. So with the finger again, I'm taking some right above the top of my lip here. And it's okay that it went on the lip because we're gonna put our lip liner and all that stuff on it, so it'll go away. Okay, and then right under the lip right here, I like to try to get it as close to under the lip as possible. I did bring this down more than I needed to because I'm a little distracted, but just know that the closer you bring it under the lip, I feel like it looks more effortless. I'm using the sponge to diffuse this a little bit so that it's not, <laughs> not too light. I think it looks gorge. What do you think? Comment and let me know. And now as far as blush is concerned, oh my gosh, okay, I have some liquid blushes, but this is not the day to be practicing because if it don't go well, I am doomed. So I wanna use something that I am accustomed to. Let's see. Let me do something really pink today. This is a Sephora Colorful Matte Blush. Is it called a blush? It's, a, it's a called a color or whatever. Anyway, it's called Hey Jealousy. And then I'm gonna use this MAC Blush Brush to apply this more toward the apples of the cheek. Ooh, yes. I haven't used a pinky blush in a long time. This stuff is, wow, yeah. This stuff is very pigmented, as you can see. <laughs> Let me slow down a little bit. And now I just wanna blend it. It looks gorgeous. Ooh, this looks gorgeous. Wow, yeah. Do you see the color? Because I do. A quick and easy eyeshadow look that I do is to take my face powder and put it all over my eyelid. So this is that Bare Pro again that I used on my face. I used it in the order where you would put a finishing powder. Although this can be used on the face, let's say like before everything else, you know? This is a powder foundation. Bottom eyeliner always makes the eye pop. This is the Revlon Vinyl Eyeliner in the shade black. I love this because it has a shine 
shine to it. So you know that there are eyeliners that are matte and then ones that are, they look like satin, like just shiny. And this one is more on the shiny and I love it. Above my eye, I'm gonna just smudge this dark brown. This is a brow pencil. So I can't find anything else right now in front of me. In this Amicole Translucent Loose Powder, <laughs> right over here, cause my face is looking real dewy, okay? I mean, come on, what's going on? You see what I mean? Like that Pro Filter primer, I would have imagined would make me really matte and it doesn't. Okay, for liner, I use the Jugia's Place Cola Luxe Liner and then the inside, this Makeup Forever Lip Stain. This is the shade 192. Now this is looking very neutral, right? But I want it to be a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna take the shade 190 to lighten up the inner part, just a little bit more. Okay, here's a finished look. Comment, let me know what you think about it and I will see you in the next video. Bye.